Hey, what's up? Welcome to the video. Riding from Astoria over the Queensboro to Manhattan, Columbus Circle. Nice social group ride with a group called New York City Bike and Brew or NYC Bike and Brew. Ridden with them a few times before. Nice, casual, cool. This is a bit faster of a group ride, it looks like. Pace is gonna be 15 miles an hour. Let's do it. So there's really no need to rush. I have to remind myself that. Group meetup time is 6.30, but the ride starts at seven. So, I have to tell myself, don't push too hard, even though you're on a fast bike, you know? Check our intersections, make sure no one's turning right. Give us a good old right hook. As you can see, we're taking the Queensboro. A little bit concerned, since it is rush hour, and this path gets pretty narrow. But we'll just do our best, as usual. It gets crowded pretty fast and people weave around each other with little care. I think I heard a rumor that they are, they were supposed to separate the walkway from the bike lane the way they have it on the Williamsburg Bridge. The Williamsburg Bridge, sorry. It'd be really nice if they actually did that sooner rather than later. It's very dark over here. We're going where there are more bike lanes. Doesn't necessarily mean it's safer. It's just a bit easier to navigate. Hey buddy. Crazy commuters. Taking the wrong lane. Opposite lane of the bike lane. That's how it is sometimes, I suppose. Google Maps says to take 57. Maybe we will take 57 to see what it's all about. No bike lane, but it might be faster, safer. Just gotta keep an eye on our six on this street. Traffic moves pretty fast. Make this light. Yep. Got it. We can fit. I just don't know if this Uber is gonna. sandwiched over there. <clears throat> T-Rafik. Maybe we should have stayed to the bike lanes, huh? This is pretty congested. I don't think we could 
cafe anywhere. Let the cars gridlock themselves and we got the open road to ourselves. Sort of. Sort of. Alright, that's enough of uh, 6th Avenue. Alright, so that's enough of 57th Street, I mean. Kind of insane. Insane but doable. City Bike and Brews ended here in Red Hook, Brooklyn. Pretty cool area. Just on my way home back to Astoria. I was gonna try to take the G train, but it's gonna take a lot longer. It's only 10 miles. Figure why not? It's a beautiful night. Might as well enjoy it. All right, made it back home in one piece. Overall, the ride was really fun and I'm really glad that I went. In total, it was about 27 miles, six miles from where I live to Columbus Circle, Manhattan. 12 miles down to Red Hook, Brooklyn, and about 10 miles back. It's so between 25 and 30 miles, something like that. The route we took was absolutely awesome. Riding on the West Side Highway, not on the bike path, on the actual highway, was a lot of fun, and it was really cool how New York City Bike and Brews actually has volunteers and people helping to keep the traffic away from us and let a whole swarm of probably 100 cyclists roll through. Now, we were cruising pretty fast down the West Side Highway. Maximum speed that I did was about 28 miles an hour. Now, I've never actually been on a fast organized group ride with four or five other very fast cyclists or racing cyclists where we're pacing each other about 20 miles an hour. But to this date, that's the closest that I've come and it made me a little bit concerned since you saw in the video, when we were riding down the West Side Highway, we're shoulder to shoulder with each other and I don't know this guy or this girl and they don't know me. 
How do I know that they have their bike control or they're an avid cyclist or maybe they're a beginner and they're not used to doing 20, 25 miles an hour and one small swerve and they'll lose their balance, they'll fall into me and cause a massive pileup and going down at that speed is not going to be fun. But as you can see, I'm standing here in one piece, nothing bad happened, so it looks like everyone knew how to hold their line and they were all pretty experienced. The bike held up absolutely great as it always does. I will say that I was a little bit concerned with riding these narrow tires. They're 28 millimeter tires. However, they only blow up to about 25 since the rims on the Wabi are so narrow. And riding a new route in the dark with such narrow tires, I was a bit concerned that I would see a pothole and I may have lose control of the bike. However, it was still very easy to see everything. Of course, as you saw, I had a pretty bright headlight. I'm also glad that I decided to leave this rear fender on since it did start to drizzle as we started to get closer and closer to Red Hook, Brooklyn. So overall, it was a great time riding with NYC Bike and Brew. Go ahead and give them a follow on Instagram. It's cool just to see some new routes. I probably won't be going to every single Tuesday night. I did find that because it was such a big group of people, it was a bit harder to have good conversations. It seemed like people showed up in groups of five or groups of six, and then they just stayed amongst their friends. You had all these little mini groups riding in this big group, and you had single singular people like myself who were just trying to make small talk here and there, but it didn't really go any further. Ride safe, and as always, thanks for watching.